I don't know about you, but when it gets cold outside, I love a warm cup of hot cocoa with marshmallows. What we're gonna do today is we are going to make a form. You remember what a form is, where it pops out? We're gonna make a cylinder on our paper that pops out that shows an amazing artwork that shows a warm cup of hot cocoa with marshmallows. Let me show you how we're gonna get started today. This is going to be a three-part activity. So we're gonna start first with the first part and I'm gonna show you the rest later on, okay? Hi friends. So what we're gonna be doing today is we are going to be creating an artwork that looks like this. It's gonna be a warm, cup of hot cocoa that's 3D. Do you see that? It's even got little marshmallows and steam on it. Mm, it looks so good. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be starting the first part. And the first part is the drawing of the cup. And the cup needs to look 3D, kind of like it's popping out of the page. So we need to draw it three-dimensionally. And we're gonna also make some lines that help to kind of create the illusion like the table underneath it is coming towards us. Okay, so this is how we're gonna do it. You're gonna get a blank white sheet of paper and you're gonna start first with a crayon. We're actually not going to draw with a pencil first, which means we might make a mistake. And I'm gonna show you some ways that we can fix a mistake if we make one, but we're not gonna make an issue of it. We're not gonna cry. We're just gonna move on if we make a mistake. So what you wanna do, is the first thing is you want to draw your cup. But your cup, if this is the bottom of my page, I want it to be kind of close to the bottom of the page to go about halfway up the middle of the page, okay? So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna draw my cup. And the top of the cup is going to be a shape called an ellipse. Ellipse is kind of like a um, oval, but it's got points on the end, kind of like an eye shape or a football shape. I want you to try that. Try to do this the best you can. Then from there, you're gonna draw two lines from the points that kind of come down a little bit, okay? So two lines from the points, and they're gonna kind of curve at the bottom. If you just wanna connect it with a straight line, you can, or you can make another little shape at the bottom. I like to curve mine at the bottom a little bit, and then a line that's a little bit rounded but still kind of straight at the same time. It's a little bit round, but not very much. And if you wanna make a line between the two, you can. And then I'm gonna put the handle on my cup. I need two lines to have a handle because it's 3D, it's not just one line. So I'm gonna curve it up and then down and back around, kind of like an ear shape, okay? And I'm gonna make that same line again on the inside, but a little bit smaller. Okay. And I was just following this line right here as I drew it on the inside. So I've got my handle of my cup. Now I need the table that this is going to set on. So I'm gonna draw the line across for the table. Okay, and I'm gonna draw it right above my cup. And then kind of from the middle point, I'm gonna draw some lines that kind of come out. When you think of like a sunshine rays that kind of come out and down, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not gonna use a ruler, I'm just gonna do it the best I can. But when we run into the cup, we have to stop. So let me kind of show you how to do this. So from this side here, I'm gonna draw a line that kind of comes down toward the corner of the paper, but I'm gonna draw it like it's going through the cup and behind the cup. So I'm gonna keep going, but every time I run into a line, I'm gonna skip that line. Do you see how I did that? I made that line that goes all the way down. I'm gonna do another one over here like that. And then from the middle, I'm gonna draw a line. And then I'm gonna go through the cup, all the way down to the bottom, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna draw another one, kind of at an angle, like it's coming towards you, like sunshine rays. And then one more right over here at an angle like that. Do you see how all of those lines kind of go back into the distance? That's something called perspective. And when we look at lines that kind of go back to the back, like if you look at your table right now and you get really close to the edge of your table, you'll notice that some of those lines kind of go back in the distance depending on how you're looking at it. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna make some kind of pattern for our wallpaper in the back. Wallpaper is kind of an old fashioned thing. You might have it in your house, but it was very popular when I was a kid and even before then. But wallpaper is like paper that goes over the walls kind of with decoration. So you can decide however you want to design your wallpaper, but you're gonna do it with patterns. Here, I'm gonna do some squiggly lines. 
okay? And you can do this, you can do straight lines, you could do polka dots, um, you could do chevron. Chevron is kind of like a, a spiky line or a zigzag line. You decide how you want to do this, but that's how I'm gonna do mine. You want it to not be exactly like this, though you can do straight lines, but you don't want lines going back to the back because we want our wallpaper to look different than our table. The last thing that you're gonna do is with your black crayon is you're gonna draw some patterns on your cup. The first thing that I want you to do is you need to draw three lines. Do you see this curved line right here? This curve creates the illusion that it's a form, that it's 3D. So as we draw our three lines onto our cup, we need to make sure that we are creating the same illusion that it's 3D. So I'm gonna make three curved lines, one, and it's following the same path as this one, two, okay, and three. And in each one of these spaces, I'm gonna do a different design, I'm gonna do a pattern. You could do a Christmassy design, you could do a polka dot design, you could do a shape design. It's up to you what you wanna do for your cup. If you wanna write, write some words in there, if you wanna put your name on it, this is up to you. You design your cup in this space, okay? Dun, dun, dun. There's some zigzag lines, and then maybe I'll make some curved lines. Ooh, that looks 3D, doesn't it? That was pretty cool. And then maybe down in this little space down here, maybe I'll make some more polka dots, little ones. Dink, dink, dink. Now this is all we are going to do today. We're just gonna draw our cup. We're gonna draw those lines that go back on our table. And then you're gonna design your wallpaper and you're gonna design your cup with some kind of pattern. You do need three lines on your cup and you want those lines to be curved so it looks 3D. Later, we are going to paint them with some watercolor paint. And then the last part, my favorite part, is we're gonna add little marshmallows out of clay and we're gonna add our hot cocoa on the inside and our steam, okay? So I want you to go ahead and get started with this today. Make sure that when you're finished, you flip it over and you put your name and your class code on the back and go ahead and take a picture of it and send it to me, okay? Great job today, guys.